the Vulcan.js stream. Uh, I tried tweaking the settings, turning down the, the whatever the frame rate or the bit rate or something. Let's see if it makes any difference. Uh, also, our uh, resolver works. So, or does it? So, 4, 6, 10, 16. Um, I mean, it's returning dates, it's not returning the right dates. Also, these are actually the dates that are not available, I just realized, so we should change this. And, um... Okay, so the booking is from... Yeah, it's weird that it's skipping days like that. So it's going 5, 7, 11, 6, 17. Um, so I, 0. Uh, why is it skipping dates? Anyway, we change this. So when you add one day to August 5th, it goes to August 7th. Maybe I'm just not getting how this uh, add thing works. Or, okay, okay, no, I know what's going on. Right, I forgot that add mutates the moment. So, um, Right, okay, so here, okay. What I mean by that is when I'm doing this, it already it's already adding one day, and then it adds another day here, so I can't do uh, add twice. Um, I think I can do this. So this should, uh, oh, no, it doesn't work. Okay. Uh, I guess, no, that doesn't work either. Oh, right, uh, okay. This, this, this line of code is starting to look a bit weird, but I think it will work. Kind of a quirky way of writing JavaScript, I guess. Yeah, okay, no, okay. Um, I can't do that. I thought I could, I could assign the variable and then Test because as before will return a boolean, so I can't. I can do what I want. How else do we write this? Because um, we we want to iterate, but we don't. We want to iterate like an indefinite amount of time. Or you know what? I'll. Uh, okay, let's let's do it differently. Let's. Uh, Let's not use while, let's just count the number of days in between. I, I think we can do that.
Okay. So let, let's start over without this weird syntax. So first we want to get the number of days. So um, okay, yeah, duration is good. So moment dot duration dot, and we want to diff the end with the start. So that will give us the number of days and and then as as days. Yeah, actually it's as days. Okay, so that gives us a number of days and now then for, uh, we will do a four, um, or just a four, for, uh, yeah, I don't even know how to write for loops anymore. I never write them. I think it's something like that. And then we'll do um, dates dot push and we push what? We push the start with I days added to it. Okay, let, let's give this a try. Nice. Um, <laughs> okay, not, not quite. Wow, I didn't think this would be so complicated. So, duration, 10 days, that's right, but the dates are still completely wrong because, yeah, again, same problem. Um, Okay, it's not super intuitive, but I wonder if there's like a, a way to do it without mutating the original moment. Um, yeah, I mean, Whose idea was it to make everything mutable? Like, especially for uh, when you're coding React, where everything is like immutable, it's really weird to switch mental models. Um, I don't know. Yeah, that's super old. So. I don't think this is ever going to change because of compatibility issues. Yeah, that sucks. Okay, well, anyway, let's not worry about it. Okay, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Perfect. So our our room is booked for from the 5 to the 15th, and that's all the unavailable dates that we have here. Now, we do want to make sure that this works even with multiple bookings, right? Because we only have one so far. So let's book it again and we'll say, so we had 5 to 15, we'll say um, 20 to 22. Booking created. Um, I guess. Okay, let's check now. Right, perfect. So after the 15th, it jumps to the 20, 21, 22. Now, 
we actually don't want this one to be in there because it hasn't been paid yet. So we'll uh, amend this, find where room ID equals room ID, and also uh, paid at is uh, exists. And now the values disappeared, but if we do complete the payment, let's see what happens. Oops. So you'll notice pay that is empty here before I paid. Now that I have paid, it's filled in. And if I check again, okay, perfect. So we have our dates. We probably want to add a unique in there. Just, you know, there shouldn't be multiple bookings. Well, actually, yeah, let's not do this. There shouldn't be multiple bookings at the same dates. And if there are, there's probably a, a problem somewhere else. Um, so let's not add unique to deduplicate the dates because it might hide that problem. So let, if there's a bug, you know, we'll know about, about it. Cool, so we have our unavailable dates. What do we do with them? So we'll um, go to our container now, which is here. So I'll rename this as well. And um, I'm gonna copy this as a start. Well, actually it might be a bit complex. Um, yeah, we don't really need all of that. L let's just check the uh, the the docs, the Apollo docs, and uh, start from there. Yeah, that's basically what we want to do. So we need a uh, GQL. We don't need with Apollo. I'm gonna, um, gonna take the query out. This for this actually I can just uh, copy that. Okay, so this will be our query. Um, I'm going to do this. I'm not sure if I can pass it as argument directly. Probably, but... Uh, now the variables. So, okay, let's let's think about this the variables are or the room ID and that will be coming from the parent um, so um, yep wait options yeah I never write these things myself like I always use the 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 ones I already wrote, so I kind of forget the syntax. So options and then props. Um, 
actually I'm gonna I'm gonna look at what I wrote before because it's easier so GraphQL query so we'll uh, give it an alias with unavailable dates um, yeah I'll keep the same uh, okay I'll do this keep the same basic structure so options do we have any options to pass uh, we do have yes we do have the variables to pass which uh, pull interval we don't need yeah we don't need that uh, where do we get our variables from well we get it from here think um, so these will be the props and this will be room ID well let's just make sure oh, and these are the props returned so um, Yeah, so what, what will it return? It will return a loading and um, I'm not sure actually. <laughs> okay, let, let's just do this for now. And log out data and okay. Let, let's try it out with this for now. So. What do we do with this? We go back to our uh, bookings new form and we import with unavailable dates and we save and we see what happens. Oh, and we also need to pass room ID into this. So um, what props are we getting? Uh, so I haven't uh, written that down, but let's just check which component is uh, importing this. So room equals room. Um, okay, so we are passing the room, which means that in this case, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this instead. Room here and room there. Okay, so the, the syntax, I mean, it's easy to understand what each of these things does, and uh, I'll go through it in, in a bit, but the actual syntax is pretty confusing, I think, because you have all these uh, these functions that return other functions or other objects. Yeah, I, I probably messed it up already. even though I've written this like I don't know how many times so options okay yeah right that looks better nope Oh, so maybe, okay. So with an available dates, with an available dates. So that looks all right to me. Uh, GraphQL should return an HOC. Let, let's see. So it's not returning anything, which means 
export default that looks all right to me um, export default okay, well, let me check let me compare with uh, yeah this is a slightly different syntax but shouldn't make a big difference I think I had the, another example of a container here somewhere. Well, maybe not. Hmm. I mean here I'm so I, I'm returning a function that returns this applied to the component, but that should be the same. Well, you know, let, let's try. Yeah, I don't think. Uh, okay, so if it's not reloading, it means it's just not loading the file. At this point, it's probably something super, super dumb, just a typo in a file name or something. No. So it's finding the file, but when I do this, it doesn't reload. When I modify the file, it's not reloading, which means what exactly? I'm not sure. OK, let's try something else. Um, that Okay, so at this point, I'm just going to try things randomly to, to figure out what the problem is. So basically, I want to figure out why when I'm logging out this, it's not returning, I mean this, it's not returning the stuff I'm exporting here. Okay, so it is. So now it works. So what if I put it back as it was before? Well, 
weird it still says bar even though I deleted bar um, wow never had that happen before uh, at this point I'm just gonna try anything I can think of because So to me, it looks like there's a problem with the way Meteor watches files and updates them. Maybe, yeah, it just seems to be like one step behind. So anyway, we have um, some errors in here. Yeah, we're missing the... Right, it should be reloading. I don't know if it's just super slow or there's something else going on. Well, I guess, you know, it's been about an hour of streaming, so that's probably a good time to stop anyway. I'll uh, try to fix this uh, offline and uh, hopefully next time we can move a little bit, little bit faster. Basically, all we need to do is wrap, get this to work, wrap our new form with this uh, HOC, which will make the unavailable dates available as a prop. And we just add them both here and here. And we're done. So looking forward to that. Okay, thanks for tuning in. And uh, hopefully next time, uh, as, as things go, I'll be able to make my setup work a little bit better take care of meteor bugs and keep moving with our Airbnb clone. Thanks.